Today I'm going to show you how to set up a controller on Xenia. Xenia is an Xbox 360 emulator. Now, for this to work, the way that I've managed to get it to work is to use a controller that's either an Xbox controller or a PlayStation etc. controller that the computer is tricked into thinking is an Xbox controller. Now, why one already had this built in, I don't know how to set that up myself, but if you've got the Xbox controller, you can continue quite simply. Now, I use something called X360CE, and I found that the latest version does not help, because it's got a different user, like user interface and all that sort of stuff, so to make sure you get the right version, I've put a download link here. Now, all you will need to do is open it up and it should come up with a pop-up that says x input one underscore three dll was not found and just press create to fix it now this will come up the problem with searching for settings is that i don't think they exist anymore because this will just load infinitely for me so just press cancel as many times as it says it will pop up with this error that doesn't matter just press ok for them what you're going to want to do is press auto Yes, that's controller two. I'll press auto for controller one as well. I'm not sure which one's gonna be used. And then go to game controllers, click on the controller you're using. So it says here, controller Xbox X360 for Windows. Well, I'm actually using a PlayStation controller, which is quite smart. Just press advanced, now press properties. Just check that it's actually working by pressing the buttons. As you can see, mine is uh, popping up. Providing that's all happy, then just press save. Then you can exit out of this and you should see x input one underscore three dot dll. You're gonna to wanna to rename that to one of just create a copy first, just in case. And you're gonna to wanna to rename that to one underscore four. Then you're gonna to wanna to copy this new file, move it into your Xenia directory and just paste it. Then all you need to do is open your game. I'm going to open Fable 2 because that's one of my favorite games. Just allow access to that. You just have to wait for it to load. Full screen up. And I'm going to press A on my controller. And so our story begins. And I don't know if you can hear my controller or not. I could probably have got no camera on it, but it works. There you go. It's easy as that.